but it is actually deployed in Humvees and uh, on ships and in submarines because it fit that environment. It was also engineered for extreme tolerance to high heat given the, uh, the environment uh, that it's going into. The examples on the left are from a, uh, uh, a new operation that literally came live yesterday in Adelaide, Australia to support the uh, Australian government. The picture on the left was the, an in, empty, abandoned auto factory that wasn't being put to any good use. Using the idea of the modular data center, which is pictured in, 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 in the first container of which was installed uh, a few weeks ago, and it's that picture on the lower left. Uh, that gives us the capability to drive a package of computing that is very flexible to design and move around. That's trailer sized, so you don't move it around as easily as the one in the upper right, but it's still mobile. It was uh, designed and built in the United States, actually, shipped to Australia, and it has modules within it that are flexible and uh, interchangeable. What's the main advantage of that? Well, obviously, for military forces, that portability uh, provides quite a bit of benefit. But the power efficiency of these, uh, this way of computing is an extreme step forward. An average data center has what we call a, uh, a power utilization efficiency of two. What that means is for every unit of power you want to get to a server specific hopefully your mission, you have to introduce two units of power because half of it is wasted in power distribution, heating and cooling the environment that the server sit in. The, the, the PUE of a payroll solution is 1.2. We lose less than 